Welcome back everybody for another Tip Tuesday. Today we are back with some Nautica to talk about hull integrity. Now when you are building a sea base, you have to worry about your hull integrity or hull strength because the deeper you go, the more pressure you have from the water outside trying to get in. Now before we get into the actual building part of it, let's discuss some basics you need to know about your hull strength. When you build a sea base, it comes with a base level hull strength of 10. That means when you build a multi-purpose room, the default starting point for your hull strength is 10, and then everything gets added or subtracted from that point. Now there are three components currently in the game as of this time that will give you hull strength. Those are the reinforcement, the foundation, and the bulkhead, and you can see their respective values to the side. There are many more components, however, that will decrease your hull strength. These are the moon pool, observatory, water filtration machine, glass and L-shaped glass compartments, the multi-purpose room, your windows, the basic compartment, and L, T, and X-shaped compartments, as well as your hatches. Again, you can see to the right their respective values. Now, one more thing to note is the reinforcement and windows will change value dependent on if you put them on a corner section or the north-south east and west cardinal sections now beyond this we also have a depth multiplier which is calculated based on your current depth the formula for this is your depth minus 100 then divided by 1000 and added to 1.0 basically this means any depth of 100 meters or less you have a 1.0 multiplier and of course, anything above sea level will not have to worry about hull integrity because there is no water pressure on it. Let's take an example. If we go 300 meters down to build a base, our multiplier will calculate out as 300 minus 100, then divided by 1000, added to 1.0, giving us a total multiplier of 1.2. What this means for you is if you build a sea base with a single multi-purpose room of a normal value of minus 1.25, you will then multiply that by the depth multiplier of 1.2, giving you a new value of negative 1.5. The depth multiplier will affect all negative influences on your hull strength, but not the positive influences. So now let's actually put some real examples in front of you. Okay, so we are here in the deep Grand Reef little area, and I have built a multi-purpose room along with some power. I'm going to place an eye compartment followed by a moon pool. Now you can see how my hull strength has been noted up in the corner there, and I am now at a 0.5 hull strength. So let's figure this one out. All right, so let's start with the components. I have a multi-purpose room, a moon pool, and a basic eye compartment connecting them. That gives me a hull strength decrease of 7.25. Now we are currently at 409 meters let's just say 410 meters down so we're going to put 410 into our depth multiplier formula which means 410 minus 100 which gives us 310 divide that by 1000 which gives us 0 0.31 and add to that 1.0 for a total multiplier of 1.31 now we take our original hull strength decrease of 7.25 and multiply it by the multiplier which gives us a decrease now of 9.4975. So what that means for us is if I was to build anything else that decreases my hull strength, I would have a negative hull strength and I would start having ruptures and leaks forming through the structure. Okay, so now we are in the inactive lava zone and I have built a very quick little multi-purpose room and two thermal power generators. Let's add just a hatch to this. And we're going to see how the hull strength changes. So now I am a total hull strength of 3.1. Okay, so now let's add another moon pool and basic eye compartment. So we're going to place the compartment down. And now we have dropped our hull strength to 0.9. So now that we add our moon pool, we're going to drop below the threshold of 10, which is the basic starting point for any sea base.
And that is the sound of everything starting to slowly collapse under the water pressure from outside because our hull strength is too low. So now you can see we have water flooding into the base itself, which soon means we won't be able to actually get oxygen in here. Now, if I was to place a single reinforcement here, you see that it has added a total of plus seven to my hull strength, which is still not enough. Now, because it added plus seven, we know that is not one of the cardinal directions. If we add here, where it forms just an X without the full plate showing, this is a cardinal direction side, which means it should now give us plus 14, which means our now total hull strength is a positive 4.3. Okay, now I have repaired and restored my hull integrity enough that the water is drained out and I have normal functionality within my base again. Okay, let's recap. If you place a hull reinforcement on a side that shows the full plate, then it is not one of the north, south, east, or west cardinal directions and will only give you plus seven. If you place it on a side that shows just the X, then that is a cardinal direction of north, south, east, or west, and it will give you a hull strength improvement of plus 14. The same goes for the windows. If you see the full window, then you are not on a cardinal side and it will reduce you by only one. But if you build on a side that gives you this sort of look, then you are on a cardinal direction side and it will give you a decrease of minus two. Well, I hope this video helps you understand how hull strength calculations work. And now you can calculate what you need what you don't need and be able to build nicer looking bases and more importantly, more resource efficient bases. If you enjoyed the video or the video has helped you out, be sure to hit that like button. Also make sure you hit subscribe and tick the notification bell if you have not already done so, so you can keep up with my content during the week. Leave me a comment below. Let me know if there's something I missed in this video or if something has been changed with a later update after this has been published so people can keep up to date with what is going on with the hull strength. Well, I'm your host, Mr. Spicy, as always. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I will see you in the next video.